Well, hey guys, Jordan and I have ended up coming over to Indian Fort Theater over here at the Pinnacles. Hey. Yeah, Jordan from Livestream, the daggone idiot. Yep. But um, beyond that, we are going to be herping today, going down to different parts of this trail and all kinds of different stuff. You've seen us, Critley and I came down here for a little wedding venue. I'll show Jordan the stage and everything. There's actually a creek not far from there, so we'll probably check it out. I'm excited about seeing that stage, though. It looks, yeah. From, from what I saw from your vlog, it looked pretty amazing. Cool. Yep, but right now I don't see our tour guide, little Abe, again. But he's probably guiding someone else. There's pr plenty of other cars here. So we'll just have to see. See y'all later. Since it's boys day out, I got to sleep in today. And now dad and I are getting ready to head out to the store and the library and some other places. There's daddy. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> uh, and just basically run errands and then tonight I think I'm going to try to make another good dinner. We'll see. And it looks like we have a little detour. Let's see what Jordan can find. If he can move it. I may have to give him a hand. Doesn't look like anything right now. I see a bunch of insects, but no salamanders, no actual herps this time. Yeah. Nope, nothing here either. Termites. Well, that's what herping is. Yep. Looks like Jordan has found something already right here at the wedding venue. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's getting happy. looking at because just judging from I doubt the camera can pick it up but just judging from this pattern right here and how de you know definite those uh, lines are right there can just sound a light and a brown I'm thinking copperhead oh, so that'd be fun it would be fun but we also gotta be careful well yeah <laughs> no joke oh there's another snake skin over there Well, it makes sense they'd use these rocks oh, right here shit. as a step. Yeah, it's long. Right down there. Now he's pulled out his camera. The logception. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. This is going to be the oddest moment. It is. It is. All right, so I don't know where I put it. Where did I put it? The other snake skin? Yeah. I don't know, you put it down somewhere. Uh, anyway, uh, we found a snake skin, looks like a copperhead. Uh, and then we found this snake skin that looks like a black razor. So, because it's got, you can definitely tell it's like a solid pattern. It's longer. You got the double scales right there, so you know it's non venomous. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty prominent. If we find anything, we'll get back with you guys. In the dollar store, got to buy vitamins. Let's see. Not this area. Hmm. Well, we've separated groups for a second, except I know where Jordan's heading. He's heading towards the creek that Abe, Critley, and I have head to before. And I'm going to check out this little game trail real fast that's actually behind the stage. I don't know if it's a game trail or a trail that people have walked quite a bit. I'm going to see what's over here real fast. A bunch of dragonflies. All kinds of dragonflies. I'm glad I don't see poison ivy yet. That's a plus. Oh, well, if anything, really nice view of where Critley and I may have our wedding in the future. 
I like that. I like the fact that has a tin roof. That's also cool. Here's the tree. It's actually at the top of this hill. It's behind the vet wedding venue. Big old tree. I like it. All kinds of grapevines on it, too. I'm going to take a look around here. Maybe I can find something. Looks like the trail wraps around behind here, too. I'm going to have to take a look. All right. Well, See you in right a bit. now, I'm down at the base of a tunnel. And I'm in a creek. Yep, caught one of the crawdads. Yeah? Yep, a little tiny sucker, but I finally caught something at least. It's the first little thing we found besides the snake skins, but at least it's something. We know there are stuff down here, but on it. They're being little buggers to find. It's a nice little black crawdad. Good bite size. So apparently I overlooked them. We will find them here shortly. Well, I'm up on top of a log that actually goes over the creek I was checking out. I think Jordan's going to get a view shot angle of where I'm at. He's over there. Here they are. Okay. Do they have what we need? This is the other side of that tree that I was walking at. This is the root ball I was heading for. Looks like over time the roots have been eaten away, degraded, all kinds of stuff. I don't actually see a whole lot here, but I'm going to take a closer look. Take a look so around. I didn't find everything I was looking for in there. Um, they didn't have kelp. But I found all the other vitamins that we needed. So. On the mire. Well, Jordan and I have started heading down to one of the forked actual trails around here. If we kept on going down this trail, we'd be able to heat, hit the east pinnacle peak. But we're going to see what we can find along the way. We took a look at a map that was on a sign, so we're heading down this path. Ended up going to the library before we went on to Meyer. The library! Jordan and I have just but come across a northern copperhead. This is Scott's first venomous snake he's ever seen in well, the wild. Right? Yeah, in the wild, in the wild sure. Yeah. Yeah, in the wild, sure, but I've seen these guys before in my yard, but not actually out on a trail. That was a, huh, we were just walking up the trail and then just, bam. Yeah, he's just, he's just chilling there, just hunting. Yeah. God, I wish I had my barking snake. He's a good ambush predator. He's, a he's just sitting there waiting for a strike. Not even moving at all. No. It's been so long since I've seen a northern copperhead. This is awesome. Yeah. And these people, we had like three or four people just walk right by, didn't even see it. I just luckily looked over and saw this thing. Yeah. It's got a really good camouflage. I mean, some of those patches just look like the leaves next to it. Yeah. So, hence the reason it's a good ambush predator. Excellent ambush, ambush predator. And, uh, the thing I love about these snakes is the fact that, you know, it is a venomous snake, but the toxicity of the venom is not, it's not toxic enough to actually kill a human being. It's mainly intended for rodents and uh, small mammals. Um, if I were to get bit by it, then I would basically, I mean, it would have a lot of tissue damage because they do have a uh, hematoxic, I want to say hematoxic? I don't remember. I'd have to look it up again. Uh, yeah, I'm a little sketchy right now. I mean, this thing, just seeing this, I'm freaking out a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, oh my gosh, this is, whoo, heck. Yes, you're welcome, guys. All right, I may try to screw with this thing. All right, well, I'm vlogging you. You're gonna, you're gonna double vlog. Oh well, yeah, you. that's fine. Oh, these well, yeah. Make me nervous because they are lightning quick, and uh, if I get bit, oh, he's already twitching his tail. Well, he's finally realized we're here. 
No, he realized we're here. He just realized that we're not going away. Yeah. But yeah, guys. Northern Copperhead. Freaking amazing. I renewed some books and picked up three books for daddy. I couldn't renew the Praxis book that I'm trying to find. It's lost somewhere in our house, which is kind of crappy. Someone's got to hold on it. May I end up having to buy that. So Scott lost that book and I got a parking ticket on his student account. I guess that basically evens out, right? Now for you all recap, Jordan is going after the snake. The northern copperhead that we just saw it started the move after a couple just came by and we showed them it so Jordan's gonna actually see what he can do he started geeking out real bad seeing this thing so we're just gonna have to see what he can do with it and he just needs to be careful on this embankment at this point he's got himself a good sized stick but for a good pinning he won't actually hurt the snake he's just wanting to get a closer look See, this just proves that, because we were just sit, chilling there, and he decided to just go. Yep. So, they are way more afraid of you than we are of them. Yep. The thing never tried to come to us or anything. It just took a couple of looks at us and then decided it was done and decided to leave. But Jordan wants to see a little bit of a closer look, so he's going to see what he can do real fast. It's actually right there on the log where his stick's going. I can't zoom in on this thing. I wish I could. But I can see it visually. I don't think the cameras can. I think it went underneath the log. Um, how good are you at throwing? At throwing? Like the camera? Do I have my phone? Or do you have my phone? I've got your phone too. You got my phone? Okay. Yeah. I need my phone right quick. In this case, it's okay. I know what I'm doing. Yep. Look at that pattern on the belly. It is pretty. Oh my goodness. Like Jordan just said, normally he wouldn't grab a hold of it like this, but this time we just got a hold of it real fast. And oh, it's racing too. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. This is your first northern copperhead first in a long time. In a long time, dude. Yeah. Just don't turn around and get tagged. But oh. you got a good hold of the head. So. <gasps> Woo! I, I, you point it down more. You focus some more over that way. Yeah. On that camera. No, I mean, towards me. I oh, mean, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, my backing on the camera is busted, so. Yeah. If Scott's all over the place, that's why. You can't really see what he's doing. Yeah. But for more footage, go to his vlog. Check that out. But yeah, guys. Northern Copperhead. Absolutely amazing. Scott, I'm actually actually do something kind of weird. What's that? Just get in my pocket and get my phone. Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right. We went by Percy's vet and picked her up some of her canned food. They didn't have the dry food, so Dad's going to pick that up next time he goes to Somerset to her old vet's office. And now we're going to finally get to Meyer for the last bit of grocery shopping. Wait, no, that's not the last bit. We're going to save a lot, aren't we? We're still going to save a lot. Okay next to last bit of shopping. I definitely want to see that first. Yeah. More than you. Sure. I Thanks, just, Jordan. Yeah. We're not would at you the peak me yet. Say I'd rather see you there than my girlfriend. I no. Feel like that would be that'd weird. be weird. That would be very um, weird. Right now, <laughs> we're still on the trail heading towards the East Pinnacle Peak. And I don't actually know for sure where that ends, but this is a beautiful view. So, took some pictures. Jordan just vlogged a little. Oh well. Check out his side of the vlog over at Livestreamed. Yeah, dude. Yep. That's awesome.
Jordan and I just found a little scorpion underneath a rock, wherever he just went. It's right there next to your foot. Oh, he is. Keep an eye yeah. on that guy. The little one, the ones up really spooky yeah. out. Yeah, I agree. That's pretty cool. Little ones are more toxic than the big ones, so if you find a little one, don't mess with it. If you find a big one, you're okay. Yeah, that's usually the general rule of thumb. Cool. Well, found another outcropping of rocks. <laughs> well, we just caught Jordan being scared. Ha yeah. ha. <laughs> well, let's see if we can find anything. This is pretty cool. Like on Jordan's side of the vlog, it's some sort of millipede, probably? That's what I'm thinking. All those legs. Yeah, but... I wouldn't touch it. No, probably not. Centipedes have poison, but some millipedes do too, I think. I'm not too sure. I'd have to do some research. It's pretty neat. Jordan almost stepped on them. Almost. Right now, we're actually going a little bit of the opposite direction where we planned. We found this other trail. So we're going to check it out real fast. And then we'll see about going on. Yeah, we were wrong. Oh we hadn't hit the top God. of the pinnacle yet, and this is still not the top. Hey, Scott, there's something way down there, too. I'm going to take a picture of every single one of these. Yeah, I mean, the turkey vultures are beautiful. The river's beautiful. Holy crap. It's this just, I can't believe we're not at the top yet. I thought we were. No, I mean, we're not going to go to the top top. I can't go to the top top. Oh, you're well. Hopefully I've got room for this bit of the vlog, but man, we still haven't hit the peak. And we found another outcropping where we can look at things. Man, wow. Jordan has fun teasing me of my fear of heights. I'm sorry, I fear death. So, I'm not going to do crazy crap. So, see you all we later. We have made it to the top of the East Pinnacle. Hello, oh, Jordan. Hey. Oh my gosh. I just took some pictures while Jordan was vlogging. Oh man, the view is amazing. I see one of the rivers way down there. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. The hike up here is definitely worth it. Yeah, it is. Wow. That's all I can really say about this. This is just it's really cool. I mean, we're on top of this big giant stone up here that's the East Pinnacle. Big old giant hunk of sandstone. Man, this is one of the few times I'm not actually scared of heights. <laughs> this place is just pretty. I'm waiting on Dad to come out of the bread store and I think the boys, Scott and Jordan, should be headed home from their hike. I saw on Facebook while I was out that they caught a copperhead, a northern copperhead. Um, but they had some pretty good pictures of different areas of the pinnacles. Scott's going to have to take me back there so that we can just do a regular hike. But yeah, I'll see what they're into by the time I get back home. I know Scott has to go to work by 4.30. So he should be getting ready to do that soon. Who knows? I still have to go by save a lot too. Yeah. On the road again. <laughs> we stopped by the house and dropped off the groceries. And I made Scott's dinner for work. And now we're finally on the road to save a lot. 
finish up all the grocery shopping. Then maybe we can get home and stay home. Think so? I am. Yeah, I am too. So then it'll be on to make dinner and work out. Lots and lots of video editing. Hey guys, it's 11.08 p.m. I finished working out and I got cleaned up and ready for bed, so I'm getting close to turning in for the night after I finish editing this video, and I may try to get a little bit more editing done on another. It takes forever to get these things up, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to finish editing mine, and then Scott will probably edit another one when he gets home. He should be on his way. I will be honest, I was a little bit jealous that he and Jordan got to go hike at the Pinnacle today, but I'm glad they got to have a boys' day out. It was I'm sure it was really fun for them, but next time they have to drag me along. <laughs> oh, I really like hiking. I'm not as good at it as they are, but I really enjoy it. So my goal is that we're going to hit all the major points. Um, on that hike before it gets too cold this year. I'm going to make Scott drag me up there. And yeah, we'll see. That will be a fun vlogging experience and let you all see up there too. Scott said there was like four or five different lookouts and I kind of want to see them all. I, th I mean, I think it's pretty neat that that park is so close to our house. I mean, I've not, not actually got to hike it. I mean, it's literally it's really close but so that should be fun I tried out a new recipe this evening for dinner I really liked it it um, it it wasn't as good as the one I made a couple videos ago that one that one was really really good but um, this one was decent dad actually could eat this one because it didn't have pasta in it dad he won't eat pasta um, so I may try to make it again with a few more spices. Dad said he would have liked it if I'd put more onion in it. So I might try that next time and see how that goes. Uh, either way, I'll let you know. And yeah, that's about all I've got for tonight. I'm a little bit tired after mine and dad's day of shopping. Oh my gosh, grocery shopping can wear you out after we've been to so many stores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but good night, guys. Um, either this will be the end and wrap up for the vlog for tonight, or Scott may do his own wrap up. I don't really know. But anyway, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>